Hello, honey pie. Come away in and see who's at home today. Granny Murray's house has two at home to play. Granny Murray's house is home too. Who's here today? Well, we've got Eva and we've got Ashley. But don't just sit there like old mushrooms, you two. Come on, let's get busy. Today, Granny Murray's, we are going to do some flower arranging. Do you like the lovely colours? Beautiful, aren't they? That's the way. This one here. Oh, we're doing awful well, girls. Well, we've got Eva and we've got Ashley, but someone's missing from home today. Oh, not anymore. Who's coming home to Granny Murray? Yes, it's Tina with Lisa. Hello there. <laughs> Tina oh, and Lisa come away through Honey Pies. Here we come. Oh, hey, those flowers are a bit special and all nicely arranged as well. <laughs> oh, we've been busy this morning, right enough. But now Lisa's here. How about we dress Claude up to look nice and pretty? Good idea. <laughs> and we can plant ourselves over there. <laughs> oh, all these flowers. And there's nothing more cheerful than a whole lot of flowers. Oh, I like roses. They're so romantic. Yeah. Raymond bought me a dozen red roses once. And tulips and chrysanthemums. Oh, I love them all. I love the smell of lilies. Oh, lilies, of course. Raymond insists on having lilies in his dressing room when we do our plays. I always think it's to hide the smell of his socks when he's getting changed. <laughs> You're right there, Tina. Flowers can make life sweet. Oh, talking of sweetness, look at Claude. Oh. <laughs> oh, what a fine floral display, Claude. <laughs> well done, petals. Oh, is that for me? Oh, it's as sweet and fair as you, Lisa, my lovely girl. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'd best be off to work. Come on then. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Now remember, flowers make life sweet. Thank you, Granny Murray. I'll see you later. Bye-bye, my darling. We'll be thinking of you. Me too. <laughs> Will you keep a wee eye on Tina and make sure she goes the right way to work? I'd better hurry. Could you tell me the fastest way for me to get to work? Thank you. I'm in, 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 in a hurry. I need, need, need to speak to work. I'll take, a take a ticket on the subway. I'll be, 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 be there quite quick. Hurry, hurry, hurry through the tunnels. Oh, clatter, clatter, clatter underground. Whining, whining, whining drives the speed up. Squeaking, squeaking, squeaking slows us down. Clatter, 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 under she's no squeaking, squeaking to our stop. I'm in, 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 I'm in a hurry. I need to speak to work. Phew! Well, what now? Of course! I have to get ready for work. <laughs> Morning, Tina. Oh, morning, Dr Juno. What are you doing here? Well, I've just taken my bike for an overhaul and I was wondering whether I could get a lift in your taxi. No probs. <gasps> oh, dear. Oh, my goodness. I'll have to clear this lot up before we go anywhere. Well, if you don't mind my saying, Tina, what you need in the taxi is a little waste paper basket. That way people won't leave their litter lying around. You're right. Don't worry about the lift. I'll just jump on the tram. Are you sure? Yes. See you later. Have a good day. Bye. The span and brush. The span and brush. Oh! <laughs> the span and brush. I'm picking up inside my pretty pink taxi before I take a ride in my pink taxi. Making it spick and spanal no clean and plush. Pretty pink taxi. Here's my dust pan and brush. <laughs> oh! I wonder how my little flower's doing. <laughs> I love to skip in River Sea Bingo, River Sea Bingo by the sea. I love to skip in River Sea Bingo, River Sea Bingo, that's for me. Oh, they're lovely, aren't they? Look at all the different colours, girls, and the different kinds of flowers. They're just beautiful. 
There's roses up the back, Lisa. Your mum likes roses, doesn't she? Yes. What are you doing now, mummy? There. All finished. Yep. Looking good. Now I need to find something I can use as a waste paper basket for the back of my taxi. Oh, this could make a really fun waste paper basket for the taxi. There we are. Now my new waste paper basket can pick up litter while I pick up passengers. Because it's time for me to get down to some hard work. City roads are waiting. Oh, the traffic lights are changing. Police cars are cruising. The trucks keep on trapping and the city roads are waiting for me to take a drive in my brain. Calls up a taxi fare. Who am I going to meet? <laughs> Looking for a job in my pretty pink taxi. Oh, Woo! cruising the city in my pretty pink taxi. Yeah, drive, drive, drive in my pretty pink taxi. Raymond, what have you been eating? Oh. I got some very delicious ripe old cheese from my favourite shop. Oh, from Ash. Oh, <laughs> Well, but I am glad you stopped by because I want to show you something. Ooh. You know that old top hat you used to use as Dr Watson in our Sherlock Holmes play? Haven't you chucked that out? I thought it was a bit battered. Well, it is, but I found another use for it. Ta-da! It's a new waste paper basket for the back of my taxi. Oh, how clever you are. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, well. Well, I think I'll set an example and put my litter in your new litter bin. Oh, <laughs> well, thank you for dropping by. Have a good rest of day. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's time for me to have my lunch. I wonder how my little rosebud Lisa's getting on. I love to skip in River Sea Pingle, River Sea Pingle, that's for me. Look at this, girls. What do you think that could be? A dolphin. A dolphin. And what about this bit here? A ring. A ring or a hoop for the dolphin to jump through. <laughs> and what's this all here? Water. Water. Can you smell the sweet peas? Oh. Hi, Tina. Oh, hi, Bobby. Is there any chance I can get a lift to Kai's nursery? Only I'm running a bit late, see? Mm, right. And first I need to go to the library, mm -hmm. see if I can pick up a book for Nola next door. A romance or something in large print. Mm -hmm. And then I've got to go to the bank, and then after that I've got to go to the market and pick up some veg. Cos I thought I'd make a ratatouille. Oh! Um, you're all right, Tina. Don't worry about the lift. What? Um, listen, I'm just going to jog round to Kai's nursery and um, all the other places. But why? Well, because it'll be quicker and I need the exercise. But... Uh, Bye! Uh, uh... Oh! 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 Oh, my taxi stinks! I've been working hard all 
all day and everyone's been very happy riding around in my taxi. And now all of a sudden there's this terrible pong. Oh, what's gone wrong? Where did the time go? At eight o'clock, I dropped off Lisa at Granny Murray's. The children in Granny Murray were making everything look pretty with flowers. Lisa gave me a sweet-smelling rose to take to work. At nine o'clock, I arrived at the taxi garage. Dr Juno stopped by. She wanted a lift to the hospital, but my taxi was full of rubbish. Dr Juno decided to take the tram to work while I cleaned out the taxi. At ten o'clock, I dug out Raymond's tatty old top hat. I popped a plastic bag inside and it made a brilliant waste paper bin for the back of the cab. At two o'clock, Raymond popped in during his lunch break. He smelt a bit cheesy. He told me he'd visited his favourite cheese shop and he threw the leftovers in my new waste paper bin. At three o'clock, Bobby dropped by. She was very busy and wanted a lift to the nursery and the library and, well, all over the place. She jumped into the back of my cab and leapt straight back out again because there was such an awful smell. Now remember, flowers make life sweet. Flowers make life sweet? Of course! Flowers will make my taxi smell sweet too! But not before I've got rid of the remains of Raymond's stinky cheese from my waste paper bin. It's a race against time. I've got to do it, I've got to do it. I've got to beat the clock before the chime. I've got to sort it, I've got to sort it. I've got to do the job on time. Like a busy bee, I'm going to beat that bong. I'm going to finish this job before I finish this song. Do we think she's going to do it? Do the job that needs to be done? Will she know how to fix it? Will she finish what she has begun? Yes, sure, she'll finish, she'll get there in the end Because she knows what she should do I'm going to do it I'm going to beat the clock before the chime I'm going to sort it She's going to sort it I'm going to do the job on time Like a busy Totally whacked. I went to the library and I managed to pick up a nice book for Nola, but then I went to the bank and I left the book there. And I've still got to go to the market and then onto the dry cleaners before I can even go and pick up Kai from nursery. Well, why don't you just jump into my taxi? Oh, um, no, 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 you're all right, thanks, Tina. I think I'm just going to have a break and get my breath back. Bobby, I know why you didn't want to ride my taxi before and I've sorted it. I think you shall be surprised at how sweetly my taxi does take the strain. Oh, wow! Those flowers make it smell really sweet. And they look pretty too. I'll tell you what, Tina. The only problem now is going to be getting me out of here. <laughs> oh. I wonder how my little sweetie is getting on. La 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 la. Oh, I've got a good idea, girls. Who wants a shot of this? Okay, Lisa, your turn first. There you go. Twirl round. Oh, she looks like a delicate wee flower waiting for a busy bee. I want to be with you, Mummy. And I hear that you and Granny Murray have both had a fab day. We certainly have, haven't <laughs> we, darling? You're being squeezy cuddles. Oh, and thanks for me too, Granny Murray. I remembered what you said. Flowers make life sweet. It saved the day. Oh, well, I'm pleased to hear it. Right, come on, you two. Let's get you home. <laughs> come on, Lisa. Oh, me too. And <laughs> Come on, Lisa. Should we go and talk about our time away? No, I'm trying to. Right, right. <laughs>
And I suppose you want me to tell you all about my time too? Well, there was hugging, squishing, walking, pushing, dancing, dusting, shooting, choosing, talking, cooking, drying, cleaning, saving, cleaning, loving, joking, losing things and rushing round, picking up and putting down. Then there was laying, running, creeping, jumping, chasing, painting, laughing, digging, bathing, dressing, singing, swinging, walking, fighting, hunting, hiding, jumping up and turning round, dressing up and sitting down. <sighs> what was really special about today? Well, Claude was dressed in all sorts of flowery clothes because we were collecting flowers and arranging them in vases. Tina dropped off Lisa on her way to work. After Tina had set off across the city, we painted some flowers. Later on, we went to the park and looked at the ornamental flower beds. We saw lots and lots of flowers that had been carefully planted to make patterns and shapes. I like the yellow flowers. Lisa liked the pink flowers. They reminded her of our mum's pretty pink taxi. We did a flower dance. Watching them twirling this way and that like little flower fairies made me feel quite dizzy. Meanwhile, Tina was having a busy day too. She remembered that flowers make life sweet and she used some flowers to cheer up the back of her taxi, making it a pretty and sweet smelling place to be. Mmm, sweet. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed yourself. Me too. Bye-bye, honey pie. Hello, honey pie. Come away in and see who's at home today. Granny Murray's house has two at home to play. Granny Murray's house is home too. Who's here today? Well, we've got Megan and we've got Stephen. But don't just sit there, my wee twinkles. Come on, let's get busy. Oh, lovely. How would you like to make some get well cards for some of my friends? So I'll fold the paper over and I'll show you what to do. We'll stick a sad, grumpy, not well face on the front and then inside can you glue on a happy one to say, hope you're feeling better soon. Now, we've got Stephen and we've got Megan, but someone's missing from home today. Come on, Santa. Oh, not anymore. Who's coming home to Granny Murray? It's Samson with Dr Juno. Hello there. Dr Juno. Hello, Samson. Come on, boy. Come on. Come and see Granny. Hello, dear. Come and say hello to Samson, everyone. Oh, dear. We've been making get well cards. So many people seem to have bad colds at the moment. So why don't you wrap Claude up and make them all better? <laughs> Into your basket, Samson. Good boy. And we can run over to the chairs before we catch the flu. <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> ah, we're going to visit my friend Maureen later. She's been a bit poorly. Oh dear. And then we're going to the town hall to get me a new recycling bin. It's a beautiful old building. Oh, it is very posh. <laughs> but you know, I don't know if I'll be able to take Samson in. I don't see why not. He's always very well behaved. I'll take full responsibility for him, just like I did with my fruit bug in the florist. Who's fruit bug? Oh, that was my wee Pekingese dog. <laughs> I took him into the florist and he got so excited with all the wonderful new smells. The manager said, take your dog outside, madam. He's done a wee wee on the floor. <gasps> I said, excuse me, but my fruit bug would never do a wee-wee indoors. But sure enough, he had. No! <laughs> yes, but it just goes to show, sometimes people are right when they say you are wrong. <laughs> oh, you do make me laugh, Granny Murray. <laughs> oh, oh, it looks like poor Claude could do with a good laugh. <laughs> Come on. Oh, Claude, you're not looking very well at all. No, he isn't, is he? <gasps> well done, angels. There you go. Oh, what's this? <laughs> A smiley face card. And inside another smiley face. Yes, it's not a get well card, it's a keep well card. Oh, that's brilliant. Thank you. <coughs> Bye, Samson. <laughs> Come on. Now remember, sometimes people are right when they say you're wrong. Thank you, Granny Murray. See you later. Bye-bye, my darling. We'll be thinking of you. Me too. Will you keep a wee eye on Dr. Juno? Make sure she goes the right way to work. 
I'm in a bit of a hurry today. Which is the best way to work? Thank you. I'm in a need, in a hurry. I really, really need to speak to work. I'll take a, take a ticket on the trampway. I'll be, 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 be there quite quick. Hurry, hurry, hurry on the tram lines. Clutter, clutter, clutter at the points. Whining, 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 drives the speed up. Squeaker, 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 slows us down. Clutter, clutter, clutter through the street. That squeaker, squeaker to a stop. I'm in the need, in a hurry. I really, really need to speed to work. Oh, hurry, hurry, hurry. And hurry to get changed. All scrubbed and ready to go. Hello, Dr. Juno. How are you today? <laughs> and what would you like for breakfast today? We have porridge, grapefruit, the full cooked breakfast with bacon, tomato. What on earth are you talking about? <laughs> You'd be amazed to find out how many people thought they'd woken up in a dead posh hotel when I turned up to serve breakfast this morning. <laughs> well, how come you've been doing that? Because we're so short staffed today. Everyone's been pitching in. I've been serving breakfast up in the ward. I think we're in for a pretty busy day today, what with so many staff off sick. Were you really asking if I wanted some breakfast? Because if you were, I'd love a cup of tea and a slice of toast. My pleasure, mon chéri. I mean, coming right up, Doc. Oh. Well, I'm feeling OK. What about you, Samson? I love to skip in River Sea Pingle, River Sea Pingle, that's for me. <gasps> oh, well done, Samson. He's fast, isn't he? Yeah. That's you. Oh, thanks, Stephen. Now, Megan, you take this to give to Maureen. Hello. Hello, Maureen. <laughs> Good girl, Megan. And we'll make you a wee card too, Maureen. <laughs> Could you give the card, Stephen? There's nothing like a waggy tear or a smiley face to cheer you up. <laughs> That's what Dr. Juno would say, isn't it, Samson? <laughs> oh, what's going on here? Oh, have you got a cold? They haven't come to the hospital for that. It's Anna Marie. She fell off her skateboard and hurt her knee. She can't bend her leg. Oh, dear. Oh, wait a minute. I know what the problem is. Let's have a look. There, careful. All right. You had your knee pads back to front. All right, lift your leg for me. Oh, and bend it. OK, there right. we are. You sure OK? I think what we have here, people, is a slight case of a um, slipped knee pad. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, but far more seriously, it's Mum's snuffles. I think you should go home and stay warm. Get some rest, eat well, and just drink lots of fluids. Thanks very much. Okay. I'll see you later. I better get on with the rest of my work. It's so exciting in the hospital. It's where the people who are ill get well. Machines are buzzing to give us a thrill. I'm rushing here and there to be here I'm rushing here and there to be here It's so exciting in the hospital Trolleys gliding patients through the corridors Flashing blue lights run up to the door I'm rushing here and there to be here I'm rushing here and there I'll be there to comfort you at all times I'll be there to see all is fine I'll be there whenever I'm needed, yeah To hear the heartbeat beating time Don't worry, I'll always be kind I'll bring a smile and take Hello, 
Bobby. Oh, hi, Dr Jay. And hello, Kai. What can I do for you? Well, he's got a little cut on his finger. It's nothing serious, but I think it might be infected. It's terribly sore, isn't it, Kai? Yes. Well, I'd better take a look at this. Why don't you come into the examination room? OK, come on. Oh, and you too. Come on. OK. Up we go, Kai. Oi. Go. All right, Kai. Just be a brave boy for me and let me take a look at your finger. Oh, yes, that does look sore, but it's nothing serious. <laughs> Nurse Hendry will clean it for you and then I'll bandage it properly, all right? No problem. Oh, thanks, Dr Juno. See you in a minute. Oh, poor Kai. Still, we'll take care of him. I hope Granny Murray's looking after Samson for me. Plenty of elbow grease. Well, sooner the flea sparkling. <laughs> oh, don't worry, Samson. Ah, there you are. That's me. You know my attitude to housework. Little and often. And we'll take you for a nice walk to the town hall later. That'll be quiet. <coughs> There you are, a nice new bandage. You can leave the bandage on for 24 hours and then you can change your dressing, OK? I'll give you some cream to put onto the cut. Oh, okay. thanks, Dr Juno. There you go, Kai. Wasn't so bad, was it? Mm -hmm. But I've got to let you know, Bobby, that it's really important to keep the cut clean. We don't want to risk reinfection. So make sure that your house is clean, especially when you're dealing with Kai's finger. <laughs> Excuse me? My house is exceptionally clean, thank you very much which is more than I can say for your hospital, which is completely filthy. Have you seen the state of the floors in your waiting room? Well, I'm sorry you feel that way, Bobby. However, I disagree. My waiting room is kept exceptionally clean. You sit tight and wait for your prescription. Oh, my goodness. With everybody off work with the flu, I've been working extra hard. And now Bobby says my hospital's really dirty. Where did the time go? At 8 o'clock, I arrived at Granny Murray's with Samson. Granny Murray and the children were making get well cards because so many people have got a bad cold today. At 9 o'clock, I arrived at work. So many people were off with the flu that Nurse Henry was helping out with the breakfast. It looked like we were going to have a really busy day. At 10 o'clock, I helped a little girl who had hurt her knee. She was okay, but her mum had a really bad cold. I sent her home and told her to keep warm and take care. At two o'clock, Bobby brought Kai to see me. He had a small cut on his finger and the cut had become sore and infected. At three o'clock, I told Bobby that she had to make sure that Kai's finger is kept nice and clean at all times. That's when she said that my waiting room was not very clean at all. I told her that she was wrong because I always make sure my waiting room is exceptionally clean. Now remember, Sometimes people are right when they say you're wrong. Sometimes people are right when they say you were wrong. Oh dear, maybe I am wrong and maybe Bobby's right. The waiting room is dirty. That's because everyone's away with the flu and we're really short staffed. But I'll soon sort this out, but it's race against time. I've got to do it, I've got to do it I've got to beat the clock before the chime I've got to sort it, I've got to sort it I've got to do the job on time Like a busy bee, I'm going to beat that bong I'm going to finish this job before I finish this song Do we think she's going to do it? Do the job that needs to be done? Will she know how to fix it? Will she finish what she has begun? Yes, it shows me how fast she will get there in the end Because she knows what she should do I'm gonna beat the clock before the chime. I'm gonna start it. She's going to start it. I'm gonna do the job on time. Like a busy bee, I'm gonna beat that bong. I'm gonna finish this job before I finish this song. Oh, I'm sorry, Dr. Juno. Oh, I sometimes get a bit uppity when people talk to me about things being clean. But 
Bobby, you were right. Yeah, I know, but I didn't know that the hospital was so short-staffed because everyone's falling down with the flu. Honestly, I think that the Harlequin Hospital is the best. And you're the best too. Oh, thank you. But if you hadn't told me how dirty my waiting room was, I'd never have known. Thanks again. <laughs> oh, and I hope your finger gets much better, Kai, eh? Thank you, Dr. Juno. Oh, welcome, darling. Come on, Kai. Thanks again, Dr. Juno. OK, bye-bye. Bye. And I'm going to stay well for you, Samson. Excuse me, madam. What about that mud? Well, that's nothing to do with me. Ah, uh, but they're paw prints. <gasps> oh, Samson. Oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't realise. I'll get him to wipe his feet the next time. <gasps> Samson. We'd better get finished up here. We'll need to get home in time for Dr Juno, won't we? Come on, we in. Samson, look Hello, who's Samson. here. Hello, Samson. Hey, good boy. Samson wants to say thank you, Granny Murray, and thank you from me too. I remembered what you said. Sometimes people are right when they say you are wrong. It saved the day. Oh, gracious. Come on now, you'll want to be off. Come on, Samson. Bye-bye, my darlings. I'm looking forward to next time. Me too. Come on, Samson, let's chat about our time away. And I suppose you'll want to know all about my time too. Well, there was hugging, squishing, rocking, pushing, dancing, dusting, shading, choosing, talking, cooking, drying, cleaning, saving, cleaning, loving, joking, jumping up and turning round, dressing up and sitting down. <laughs> <sighs> but what was really special about today? Well, Claude was dressed as though he was coming down with a bad cold. Oh, but the children were very good. They knew just how to look after him. Claude wasn't the only person feeling under the weather. I took Samson and the children to visit my friend Maureen, who was just getting better after a cold. She seemed glad to see us all, and we gave her some fruit and a get well card. Back home, the children helped me clean up the house. Samson didn't like the noise of the vacuum cleaner. Later on, I took Samson for a wee walk around the town hall. A nice man told me that Samson had walked his muddy paws right across the floor. <gasps> I didn't believe him at first, but he was right. <gasps> what a mess! Meanwhile, Dr Juno remembered that I told her, sometimes people are right when they say you are wrong. Bobby had told Dr Juno that her waiting room was a mess. Dr Juno cleaned up the waiting room and cleared up everything with Bobby as well. What a nice, tidy end to the day. And I feel fine. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed yourself. Me too. Bye-bye, honey pie. Hello, honey pie. Come away in and see who's at home today. Granny Murray's house has two at home to play. Granny Murray's house is home too. Who's here today? Well, we've got Sean and we've got Ellie. But don't just sit there, Poppets. Come on! We are going to do some special painting. A bar of soap for you, Sean. Does it smell nice, Ellie? Mm. I think I'll do some shapes. I'm making a double thing. That one. Okay, my darling, pick a brush, good boy. Now wait for this magic. When Granny Murray paints, I can see a circle, I can see triangles, circles, rectangles. Oh, look at that. Well, we've got Sean and we've got Ellie, but someone's missing from home today. Come on, Kai. Oh, not anymore. Who's coming home to Granny Murray? Ah, uh, it's Kai with Bobby. Hello, hello. and hi, my pleasure. Come on, way through. Mmm, <laughs> smells lovely in here. Reminds me of going to bed all clean and fresh from the bath. Oh, 
that gives me an idea. Now you're here my wee darling, let's dress Claude up in his pyjamas. Uh, That's right. Whoa, and we whoa, whoa, can take whoa. our teddies Ooh. to bed. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, talking of teddies. Here. Oh, a little soap <laughs> teddy. Whose is that? It's Kai's. Huh. He loves it so much that he won't use it in the bath. He just wants to cuddle it. Oh, well, there's no harm in that. Oh, Ooh, it smells nice. Mm. You know, my favourite soap smells of roses. Mmm, lovely. Do you know, when I was little, my brother gave me soap for Christmas. Mm. He kept nagging at me to use it. So one day I did, and I came downstairs, and my face was all dirty. It was trick soap. Oh, no, what did you do? Well, I just went back upstairs and washed it with proper soap. Sometimes you just have to start all over again. Mm, that's true. Oh, and look at Claude. He looks all lovely and clean and ready for bed. <laughs> mm. Don't let us keep you up, Claude. <laughs> oh, I think you should snuggle up with your teddy, Claude. <laughs> right, well, it's time for me to get off to work. Here, Mummy, take this to work. Oh, thanks, Kai. A sponge. Hey, watch this. <laughs> it's a scrunchy sponge. <laughs> Maybe I could use this to clean the buses later on. <gasps> All right, come here, gorgeous. Have fun. And I'll see you in the morning, OK? Yeah. Bye. <laughs> come on. Now remember, sometimes you've just got to start all over again. Thanks, Granny Murray. I'll see you later. Bye-bye, my darling. We'll be thinking of you. Yeah, me too. Will you keep a wee eye on Bobby? Make sure she goes the right way to work. <laughs> I'm on my way to work today Walking my shoes through the city views I'm stepping along, I'm swinging my arm Singing my way through the city's charms Getting there is just so fine I so enjoy my walk in time I always know the way I go But can you show me the way I go? Hey! Oh, OK, which way? Do I go left now or do I go right? Which way is wrong now? Which way is right? Right! OK, that way. To the bus depot. I'm on my way to work today. I look in this way and that away. Oh, hello, digger. Hello, drain. Oh, hello, lamppost. Hello, train. Hello, post box. Oh, hello, plane. She's on her way. I go up now or do I go down? Which way's a smile now? Which way's a frown? Ah! Okay, that way, up the steps. You told me the way I go. Thank you, you showed me the way I know. Oh, thanks for helping me get to work, but now I need to get busy. Yep, it's time to put on my work clothes. and ready to go. Hiya, Bobby. Sorry to bother you. I'm having trouble with my bike. The chain's come off. Oh, no. What a nuisance. I know you've got some tools lying around the depot. I was wondering if I could borrow them to try to fix the bike? Yeah, sure, of course. Use whatever you need. But uh, I'm going to get on with some work, if that's OK. No, of course. Thanks, Bobby. What a lot of rubbish and dust. Ugh. Oh dear. I think that this bus could do with a mop. Hmm. <laughs> Where's my mop and bucket? Oh, sorry, Bobby. I used the bucket to put the oily bike chain in. Could you wait a tick before you mop the bus? Yeah, sure. No probs. <laughs> What's happened to your hands? Well, it's a rather mucky job fixing a bike chain. <laughs> oh, well, maybe this would help. You could use it to wash your hands. Oh, thanks. Right, I'm just going to catch up on some paperwork until you're finished, OK? right <laughs> Oh, wonder if Kai's getting ready for bed yet. I love to skip in Riversy Bingle, Riversy Bingle by the sea. I love to skip in Riversy Bingle, Riversy Bingle, that's for me. 
Oh, let's see. <gasps> Whoa, I'm going to catch lots of bubbles. <laughs> let's see if Teddy can catch some bubbles. <laughs> <laughs> well done. <laughs> Wait till we tell Mum your teddy was catching bubbles. What are you doing now, Mummy? Thanks for the use of your bucket, Bobby. I've taken the oily chain out and put it onto my bike. Come and see. Okay. All in working order. Oh, wow. Well done. Oh. And I cleaned my hands, so here's a sponge back. Oh. Thanks a lot. Aw. See you later, Bobby. Bye, Dr. Gino. Ugh. I'm going to have to clean Kai's sponge before I pick him up. But in the meantime, I'd better get on with some hard work. Bobby Boogie Woogies as she cleans and mops the bosses. Sponging with a squeegee, sweeping rubbish with her brushes. Shining up the headlamps for the night time show. Bright and be Buses, bye bye soon. Cleaning while you're dreaming, making ready while you're in bed, gleaming while you're sleeping, dawn by dawn. Lining up, all shining, they'll be leaving for the day ahead. Ready to dazzle the day away Swinging to the city looking pretty and radiant The hubcaps gleam, the paintwork shines A river sea double decker looks so fine The driver she drives, collecting the fares Leaving then arriving she will get you there This bus is stopping from picking up and putting down This bus is shining, it's the talk of the town Bobby Boogie Woogie's flipping over, flipping under Running round and scrubbing up, she really is a wonder Sticking up the posters as she wobbles on her toes And Bobby walks the moonwalk as she robs and wipes the windows Dusting through the starlight, adding sparkle as she goes Polishing the buses so they'll all be gleaming for the day ahead Phew! One bus all sparkling and clean Time for a break and a brew, I think. Hello? Anyone home? Oh, Raymond. Have you just finished work? That's right. I was on my way home, but I had some food left over in the buffy car, so I thought I'd bring you a snack. Oh. <laughs> it's our speciality, ratatouille. Oh, mm. well, um, I'd better go and wash my hands. Oh, right. Well, I shall set Madame's table. <laughs> Table for one, madame. <laughs> Dinner is served. Bon appetit. <laughs> Tar ever so. <laughs> right, I must get home. Enjoy your meal. Cheerio. <laughs> Thanks, Raymond. Bye. Mm, this looks nice. Mmm. Oh, that is absolutely delicious. It makes me feel all warm and cosy. Oh, I hope my Kai's feeling all warm and cosy too. I used to do when I was a little girl. I used to make a big soapy beer. Let's see. Oh, oh, oh you look like Santa. <gasps> Give one to Granny Murray. Ooh, oh, 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 tickles and tingles. <laughs> oh, well, I suppose we better get you washed. Okay, Mr. Man, can you give yourself a wee wash? No, don't get them wet. Oh, that's right. I forgot about that. Okay. What about this? Can you wash yourself with Granny Murray's big sponge? That's it. Don't forget to do behind your ears. We don't want potatoes to grow. You'll smell fresh as a daisy when Mum comes to pick you up tomorrow. Are you cleaning all the buses? Right. Time for me to get back to my mopping. What? Where did all these mucky footprints come from? Oh. They're everywhere. I don't believe it. I've spent all evening cleaning this place and now, well, it's dirtier than ever. 
Where did the time go? At six o'clock, I dropped off Kai at Granny Murray's house. The whole place smelt of lovely clean soap. At seven o'clock, I got to work. Dr Juno called by to borrow some tools because she needed to mend her bike chain. She borrowed my mop bucket to pop her oily chain into. At eight o'clock, Dr Juno had fixed her bike. She'd used Kai's sponge to clean her oily hands and it was filthy. At nine o'clock, I was working hard, mopping the buses with my bucket and mop. And just as I finished, Raymond called round with some ratatouille from his buffet car. Raymond made the depot into a restaurant for me. His food was delicious. Then, at 10 o'clock, I grabbed my mop and bucket to start work again and saw dirty footprints coming from the bus. The whole depot is covered in yucky footprints. Dr Juno's oily chain must have made my mop bucket filthy so that I mopped oil all over the floors instead of cleaning them. Now remember, sometimes you've just got to start all over again. Hmm, sometimes you've just got to start all over again. So that's just what I've got to do. <laughs> I've got to clean all the buses again to get rid of Dr Juno's mucky oil. Come on, it's a race against time. I've got to do it, I've got to do it. I've got to beat the clock before the chime. I've got to sort it, I've got to sort it. I've got to do the job on time. Like a busy bee, I'm gonna beat that bong. I'm gonna finish this job before I finish this song. Do we think she's going to do it? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna beat the clock before the chime. I'm gonna sort it. I'm gonna do the job on time. Like a busy bee, I'm gonna beat that bong. I'm gonna finish this job before I finish this song. There, everything is clean again. Ooh. Not quite everything. Oof, I better clean Kai's sponge. There, your dolphin sponge is all lovely and clean again. Mmm, and it smells lovely too. Oh, I wonder what my little Kai is up to right now. Oh, and he's still holding his wee soap teddy. Oh, a gorgeous soapy smell from a gorgeous wee ted. And you smell all soapy and clean too, Kai. Gorgeous boy. Your mummy will be here to pick you up in the morning. Where are you, Mum? <laughs> Your mum's here, Kai. Hi, Kai. Hello, Mummy. Oh. <laughs> you look like you've had a smashing time. Oh, we sure have. Are you going to say thanks to Granny Murray? Thank you. Bye-bye, my treasure. <laughs> oh, and thanks a bunch from me too, Granny Murray. I remembered what you said. Sometimes you've got to start all over again. Save the day. It never did. <laughs> Come on. Let's get you home. Come on, Kai, let's go. Looking forward to next time. Me too. Right, come on, Kai. Let's chat about our time away. And I suppose you'll want to know all about my time too. Well, there was waving, greeting, hello, meeting, bye bye, closing, waking, dozing, eating, sleeping, fetching, sketching, painting, stretching, gluing, chewing, sticking up and wiping round, washing up and slushing. Cheating, choosing, talking, cooking, drying, cleaning, saving, cleaning, loving, joking, losing things and rushing round, dressing up and sitting down. <sighs> <sighs> but what was really special about today? Well, Claude was dressed in pajamas because we'd been making some soap paintings when Bobby arrived with Kai. The smell of soap made her think about having a lovely hot bath before snuggling up in bed. And she showed me a special soap teddy that Kai loved cuddling instead of washing with it. 
I found some bubbles and me and Kai had really good fun blowing bubbles and then popping them. Then Kai had a bath before bed. We gave each other soap suds beards. The whole bath was full of soap bubbles. Bobby needed to use a lot of soap bubbles to clean the depot too. She remembered that sometimes you've just got to start all over again. I tucked Kai up in bed and he fell asleep with his little soap teddy. They both smelt lovely and clean. Whee! I love playing with bubbles. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed yourself. Me too. Bye bye, honey pie.